so, um, spoiler alert, it's actually, a uh, Sunday night, um, I guess this is a spoiler for, um, last vlog, because it's coming out on this vlog, but yeah, it's Monday night, and, uh, I was just, I need to remember to put that up short, because, uh, so, it's Monday night, and I have filmed, basically, why, um, because I've been just listening to audiobooks and working on a different project than Cape Pepper. Um, I need to get this project done. I've been making mistakes. <sighs> and yeah, I've been listening to audiobooks, which don't really make good film. Now you might go, Esther, what about those, um, sections you're reading? The other books, and to that I say, I've just been reading the Bible. Uh, I haven't let them, I haven't let them drop, but, uh, I haven't done them yesterday or today, so not a chance to film that either. <laughs> um, yeah. I've been struggling a bit trying to figure out what I'm doing. So, yeah, I don't know what sort of vlog this will be um, for today's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, I don't generally film much on Tuesday. I might um make a vlog with a book haul and just stick a book haul in the middle. Because I have a book haul that I film that needs posting. I might do that. I'll make it an interesting video. Hey Lima Beans. Is this book haul that uh really is rather overly large? Given the fact that I finished one book in the past, physical book in the past two months? Yeah. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Anyhow. Let's start. And we are going to start with Enid Blyton. I have the mystery series again. Mystery of Holly Hay, Blaine, Tally Ho Cottage, and The Spiteful Letters. Um... This is the Five Find Outers, also known as. Then we have The Mystery of the Vanished Prince, again the Five Find Outers. The Mystery of the Missing Man, the Five Find Outers. And The Mystery of the Missing Necklace, the Five Find Outers. I don't know why this one calls it the Mystery Series when it's the Five Find Outers, but whatever i have well four more physical books to add um but six more mid and stories next up we have very exciting my first ever brandon sanderson physical book i've read a lot of his audiobooks listened to consumed a lot of his audiobooks and i found this at the thrift store and i picked it up it's a bit rough looking but I don't care I've not actually read um the second one in this trilogy I've read the first and this is the third and yes I will probably read this before I get to the middle one and uh finally from the stack I have Sisson's word and expression like never is a which is a remarkable reference book for anyone who wants to speak or write more effective and accurate English um, it's just real cool. Okay, I know. Seems a bit weird, but it's a reverse dictionary of sorts. A reverse story. I'm enthusiastic. Now, <sighs> deck number two. Let's do this in here. Deck one up here. Check number two. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All right. Ah, Willa Cather's death comes to the Archbishop. I know nothing about it. It looks interesting. Not a kind of interesting. I picked it up. It was free. Ah, uh, don't forget to call your mama. Bye.
Lewis Quiz, again, I know nothing about it, but it looks interesting, and it's a memoir, so I thought, why not pick it up? Um, <laughs> next up we have The Reward of Childhood Truth. It's a couple of short stories in about Reward of Childhood Truth. This is volume, this is one of 11 titles in the Children's Character Building Collection. Um, I wasn't terribly enthusiastic about picking it up, but I was picking up several others of this type, so I was like, eh, may as well. Next up, we have Little Daisy and the Swearing Class. This is the one I most was interested in. It's um, one of the 11 titles in Children's Character Building Collection. And I know what they're talking about, but I just love the title of Little Daisy in the Swearing Class. You have this sweet little girl on the cover. And it just sounds like she's being taught how to swear when that's not what they mean. They mean it like middle class, upper class, lower class. I mean, oh, it is a class that swears. I, I don't know what I think about it, the titles. And finally, the last of the children's character book in collection is Little Rebel Becomes a Thing. I was very interested in reading this one. Little Daisy. So, um, it's just, what's he doing? Looks like he's pouring milk out. I don't know. Anyhow, sounds interesting. And then, um, I have a couple books from the boys' heritage set. I have The Widow's Son, it is a collection of reprinted stories. It has three. And I have Nooski, the Indian Boy. And David Brainard, the Indian's missionary. That's that. Then I have Hive. Higher Institute of Villainous Education. Uh, I know nothing about it. It's free. It sounds fun, maybe? So I picked it up. Murder on the Orient Express, a reclue follow mystery by Agatha Christie. Um, now, I made you motion picture. <laughs> it's Agatha Christie. She writes amazing murder mysteries. I picked it up. And Caddy Woodlawn. Uh, this is a new gray medal. And I believe I've read it. I haven't read it for a long time. If I have. Anyhow, it's new berries are generally pretty good. So I picked it up. I think I've read it. And I have. Two of the Sisters Grimm. I believe there's more than two, but I just have the first two. I have Fairy Tale Detective and The Unusual Suspect. If this one's book one, this one's book two. And I, yeah, I've heard a lot about them. Well, I've heard that they exist, and I like fairy tale retelling, so I, I like mystery, so I thought, why not? And that is the end of step two. Let's just get down back three. Ugh. Stack three. Starting right off with A Sword for a Dragon by Christopher Rowley. I know nothing about this book. I just really liked Dragon on the cover. He just doesn't have wings. He's not currently breathing fire. I know nothing about him, but there's a Someone with him is human boy. I'm just, what's going on? I want to read it. I will find out and tell you about it. Maybe. Then I have Redwall, where legends are made. It's the first of the Redwall series. I know how to read Redwall. It books it by Brian Jacques. And I just, I've listened to the audiobook of this. And I really, really enjoyed it. So I started picking up Redwall books when possible. And I saw this one and it paid less than 10 cents for all the Enoch by Charles Raymond. I know nothing about this book. I just liked the cover. It's a guy on a bike Wait, in a city. So that's all I know about it. I mean, there's illustrations in it. Fine. 
his illustration. All right, that's all I know about Enoch. I mean, yeah. The Hot and Cold Summer by Joanna Hurwitz. Uh, they look like they're throwing ice cream balls at each other. Um, it sounds interesting. I don't know, it wasn't much, so I picked it up. Sounder by William H. Armstrong. It's in the Newbery Medal, the quite famous. And I really don't need to say much more about it. I don't think I've read it. The Boxcar Children, number two. I wish to collect the first, like, 20 Boxcar Children, because they're the actual ones by Jerk. Gertrude Chandler Warner, and she kept their ages straight, she kept them growing, she wrote better stories. So yeah, I'm collecting the first 20, and this is the second one I have, um, as well as being the second one. However, the other one I have is like seven. Oops. It's also hardcover. It's Like This Cat by Emily Neville. Uh, I know nothing about this, I just feel like I've heard about it, seen it, thought it sounded interesting, but picked it up and it's a yeah, beautiful edition um I don't know I'll read it and we have a journey to the center of the earth Jules Verne reader's digest edition it's a very pretty edition I wouldn't you know go out of my way to spend tons of money on this edition of a journey to the center of the earth. However, if you find it, it's at decent price. It is a nice edition, and it's a great book. And um, nice edition, great book. I got it at the thrift store second hand. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely, if you like science fiction, check out you. And finally, we have 101 Read Aloud Celtic Myths and Legends. 10 minute readings from the world's best love literature. I'm not sure about the world, as it is Celtic, um, but maybe it's this is part of a series. Anyhow, there's um, Irish ones, there are Brittany, ones from Brittany, ones from Cornwall and the Isle of Man, ones from Scotland, ones from Wales, and of course, our boy, King Arthur. There's some Arthurian there. And that's a book haul. It's about... <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27 more books than I have space for. And... But I fully intend to read all these. I'm really excited for all of them. I have plans. So, yeah, do the YouTube thing. Bye.